Hello and welcome everyone to EMK Knight's gaming channel. This is Commander Shepard and I'm going to be taking you through a uh, quick little video, the E50M versus the IS-7. Wizard Ken is uh, kind enough to uh, help me out with a little bit of testing here. Uh, as uh, some of you may or may not know, there is a uh, rumor going about on the forums that the E50M and the E50's uh, upper front plate is armored enough to bounce uh, shots from tier 10 uh, mediums and heavies with ease. Uh, recently, uh, if you looked at the patch notes, you could see that both of these vehicles' uh, upper front plates have been buffed to 150 millimeters, which is actually thicker than some heavy tanks at that tier. So a lot of people, you know, are kind of panicking and saying, you know, this is a, a pseudo heavy tank. And I mean, look at it; it is the size of a whale, but uh, as you'll see here, this tank will not bounce shots on the upper front plate without significant angling. And even then, the turret, including the gun mantlet, can be penetrated with ease. So here, uh, Ken and I are just trying out the uh, spotting ranges. Um, he's, he's behind some kind of partial cover right there, but that's about 300 meters. No, 400 meters. 424 meters. Okay, my bad. So he's he's right there at the uh, the limit of the view range, and I do have coated optics on this with a 100% crew, so it should be maxed out. But um, anyways, um, while I'm at it, I would like to apologize for uh, the audio on the last video. The commentary was coming in real weak. Uh, you know, still new to this recording thing, so uh, I I thought the uh, the level was fine. It sounded fine on my computer, but obviously, uh, once it got loaded onto YouTube, it was not enough. But anyways, uh, we're we're just sighting in here. Uh, I'm right now. I'm asking Ken to go ahead and uh, hit me, but I'm gonna move up on this ridge line and uh, give him an even easier shot. So yep, you're gonna see him hit me right in the beak. Probably the most armored part of the vehicle, damn near. Went right through. I'm turning the turret right there to check it out for myself, be like, huh. So everybody was just blowing smoke up my butt. So I'm like, alright, Ken, go ahead and try and hit me once I'm angled. And boom, he puts it right through the mantlet. I was looking for that one for a little while, but, uh,. I didn't see it until he pointed it out to me. So, I asked him to try again, and hey, what do you know? Finally got a bounce. So right here, I decided to uh, practice my gunnery a little bit. Get my angle on a little bit, and see if I can land a shot on him. Yep. And once again, pins me right through the turret. So definitely, uh, if you're not familiar with this vehicle, do not depend upon the front plate and uh, turret to deflect shots against equal tier vehicles, especially tank destroyers. But anyways, uh, we're, we're we're just uh, gonna duke it out since uh, you know went ahead and found out that uh, the armor is not cracked up to be what it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward it here to the good part. See, I got no life left. I can't really snipe. Alright, folks. Here's the good part. The derp charge. Boom! Double two. <laughs> Double kill. <laughs> uh, well, anyways, folks. I know it's a short video, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, uh, go ahead. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe, tell your friends, and uh, we'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.